and then do your translation as well. Om Namo Narayana, Om Namo Narayana, Om Namo Narayana. Trayambatam Yajamahe Sugantin Pushti Vartanam, Urva Rukumar Sugantana, Vityo Mokshiya Maam Vata, Om Shanti, 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 Shanti. Shanti. Here is the translation. We praise the Lord Vishnu with the chanting of the holy name three times. We praise the Lord Shiva who is the fragrant and who nourishes and nurtures all beings. May the Lord liberate Paul and Hunger from death for the sake of immortality, just as the ripened cucumber is freed from its bondage to the creeper. May his soul be purified at the deeper level for physical, mental, and emotional health. May there be peace for him within and without through his journey to the eternal abode. I remember Paul the first time when I met him, it was over a cup of coffee at the Paradise Bakery in Tempe. He wanted to share his vision and mission and he was looking for a Hindu representative. The Hindu representative who was on board, Shama, who was probably in the audience somewhere with his family, um, had to uh, step down for um, health reasons and so he was looking for somebody to step into that uh, space of being a Hindu rep. And then Paul began to start, he started to explain the vision and the mission of the interfaith group. He talked about a word of harmony, goodwill, and peace among people of all faiths, where the golden rule is a way of life. And then he said, well, we want to build bridges of understanding, respect, and support among diverse people of faith through education, dialogue, and service. And of course, we want to implement that golden rule. I love every word of what he was saying. That was the first time that I've been hearing something like that. I was in a different um, space and time at that point. He said, doing right one by one another with words used and action taken. He said, without commentary on political issues, and then I said, well, doing unto others as you would have them do unto you. That's an ancient principle of every human culture and religion, making the world a better place. So he would, here we were going back and forth, back and forth, and we talked about ethics of reciprocity. We talked about the opportunity to lead a good human life. All of this went so hand in hand with all the ethical principles of truth, nonviolence, and self-reflection that happened in an integral part of my life. And all of this was sounding too good to be true. And then I started thinking about Mahatma Gandhi and what he said. He said the golden rule of conduct is mutual toleration, knowing that we will all never think alike, and that we shall always see the truth in fragments and from different angles of vision. However, mutual toleration can be inculcated among and practiced by all, irrespective of their social status and training. And I truly believe that the golden rule of conduct is a, is a very conscious process of the continuous refinement of the mind and the sensibility to understand different perspectives. It is an integral part of the process of the conscious revolution of the human mind. So I remember Paul and I going back and forth. We were so engrossed in this conversation that caffeine, the coffee didn't matter anymore. <laughs> we didn't even need any of that. We were like fired up to talking about the universal basic tenets of the faith, love, peace, harmony, a lot of what we felt right now in this congregation. We just fed off of each other's thoughts and words and we talked about the infinite possibilities of what AISM could even do. Paul and I felt like I felt like at least um, two kids in a candy store. Just talking 19 to the dozen, we were so excited with the thought of expanding the reach of the movement beyond the Phoenix metropolitan area, having small and large interstate groups in different communities within Arizona, and then maybe moving it over to model in other states, and maybe even globally. Wow, this was a whole afternoon of just daydreaming. But it was fantastic. We loved it. We both sat there in the coffee shop and we just enjoyed a couple hours. It was supposed to be like a half an hour, 45 minute meeting perhaps. To just explain to me, you know, what is the interface group and what kind of help he needed. So we just took off from there and we, we loved, enjoyed the afternoon. So I'm really 
grateful to have met Paul at the time that I did, and then eventually ending up to work with him as part of this interfaith group. And he has truly left Arizona with a legacy of interfaith dialogue that I think we should continue to nourish, not just for ourselves, but I think to provide sustenance for our children and grandchildren, the people that we want to leave this world for. And I think with Larry Cole, with the new executive director that we have, I think that that might become a reality as he's putting his steps together to move forward to keep all legacy alive and well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.